Hi friends, welcome to my channel Cloud TV. In this channel, I basically uh, put a lot of technical uh, videos. Uh, please subscribe to my channel to get uh, uh, more technical videos. Okay, today I am going to discuss about uh, RDD transformation. Okay, uh, there are there are a lot of uh, RDD transformations available. So we'll start uh, a few of the transformation in this video, and we'll continue in the uh, uh, other uh, transformation in the uh, coming of videos. Okay, so in this video, I'm going to uh, talk about uh, three important uh, transformation. One is map, another is a filter, and the third transformation is flat map. Okay, so uh, uh, before going to the uh, already transformations, so uh, I just uh, want to uh, clarify what is RDD. RDD is a resilient distributed data set, right? It's a it's a uh, distributed collection uh, 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 which can actually uh, take your data into memory and you can do the uh, uh, you can do the uh, parallel processing okay you can distribute your load into different machines uh, uh, machines and you can do the in memory computing okay that's a uh, main uh, use of rdd okay so rdd uh, rdd uh, on rdd you can, so once you uh, take data from source any source or if you create a programmatically, if you convert uh, 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 any uh, Scala object or Python object to RDD, okay, so you can perform two types of operation on the RDD. One is a transformation, another is the actions. Okay, so uh, what is transformation? Transformation of the one which generates new RDD from existing RDD or create, uh, created from the new RDD, or it creates a, a new RDD. Okay, uh, so. <clears throat> so, so to start with the uh, uh, map uh, transformation, okay, what this map transformation does is it returns a new RDD by passing each element of the source through function uh, uh, which you pass to the uh, map, okay. So, if you take uh, this uh, uh, RDD, okay, uh, uh, this is a lines RDD, okay, which contains uh, a set of lines, okay. So, you can think of it as a uh, uh, say uh, three lines okay so in this example i'm going to take uh, uh, input file as this test.txt which contains three lines okay so basically what it contains uh, so it, it is it is contains a uh, 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 text of few lines right three lines okay so apache spark is a unified uh, analytics engine for uh, big data processing this is the first line okay and the second line with the built-in modules for uh, streaming sql uh, come on, my machine learning and the second line the third line we have uh, uh, and graph processing so there are three lines which we have it in this text file so we are going to load this uh, text file okay and create rdd that rdd is actually lines rdd okay uh, from the lines rdd okay so you call this uh, uh, map transformation for map transformation you will pass a function so i hope uh, in the uh, scala fundamentals i told you Okay, so this is a uh, way you can write an anonymous function in uh, uh, in Scala. Okay, so uh, we need to pass the function to the map uh, transformation. So the function which we are passing is the anonymous function. What this function does is it takes each element from this RDD. Okay, and we are actually splitting this line with the space separator. Okay, so basically your lines will be uh, uh, broken into uh, multiple words. Okay, and we want to find out uh, uh, that uh, how many words in that line. Okay, so basically this will return uh, lines dot split of uh, space dot size will give the how many words in the line. So if you, <coughs> so I will I will execute uh, uh, the code and I will show you. Okay, so basically that's what it does. So basically it, it converts your lines into words by using the space separator. Okay, and uh, for each line you get array, right? Means you get a eye trouble okay our collection you want to find the find so you want to find uh, we want to find the size of that uh, array okay or the number of words in that lines okay so we have three lines so you get a three uh, 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 three uh, uh, size of uh, uh, the array length okay or number of words in the per uh, each line okay that's what you get it in the words already per per line or words uh, words count per line rdd okay so so as i told you transformation which will return again rdd okay if you want to see the output 
you need to perform an action okay so this is the um, uh, use of uh, map or map transformation so next we will we'll see what is the uh, what is the use of filter transformation and how we can use it so basically filter transformation uh, 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 also written in new rdd okay uh, 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 formed by selecting those elements from the source of the those elements of the source on which function returns uh, true basically what happens is again for this transformation filter transformation also you need to pass a function so we passing this anonymous function so uh, for each element in the sardd this function will be applied uh, so this function will return a boolean value okay whether true or false so all the true uh, items will take into the new rdd okay that's what this filter transformation does so basically it takes uh, each line and we are checking line dot contains of word for okay that's why i kept a name as lines with the word for rdd okay uh, so uh, that's what this uh, filter transformation does again this script is written a uh, uh, new rdd okay from the lines rdd okay so basically you can uh, whenever you have a rdd okay you want to filter based on certain criteria okay you can use the filter transformation okay the third uh, the tr third transformation is uh, uh, flat map okay so flat map basically similar to map okay but uh, the difference is each input item can be mapped to zero or more output items okay so basically if you see the map map for each line you get only one each uh, element you pass the map you get one output okay so basically we pass the three lines to this map okay so you get three three out uh, three uh, again you get rdd of three values but in case of uh, 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 flat map uh, transformation for each line uh, it can actually uh, uh, each input can be mapped to one or more output items okay uh, so the function should return a sequence rather than the single item so basically it has to return a collection or i travel okay so uh, we'll see so basically a flat map generally uh, used for uh, uh, flattening your uh, data set okay so basically what uh, what here i am doing is so i, I take this uh, lines uh, uh, with the word for right that rdd okay so if you look at the uh, input okay so i have uh, three lines right this line we have for keyword that means the word okay and the second line also we have for word but the third line we don't have it so basically only these two lines will be uh, there in the rdd lines uh, uh, with the word for rdd okay from those two lines we want to uh, break the line into words and we want to flatten so basically you pass two lines okay to this uh, 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 this flat map okay it takes each line and break it into words so basically uh, for one line you, you get a, a collection right so which multiple words again for second line you get multiple words all the words will be combined it will return a single uh, a collection okay so basically all word will be in the single uh, this rdd okay that's what it, it will do the flat map okay so uh, probably i will execute the entire code okay so uh, we will we'll go to the uh, uh, take this code and we'll uh, uh write it into the uh, eclipse uh, sorry intellij id we can copy paste this code into intellij id we can create a scala based project okay so this like created a, a scala based project okay so i just created a uh, object called uh, scala object called uh, rdd uh, rdd map filter and uh, uh, flat map demo okay so in this uh, uh, so basically object uh, we will have a main method okay this uh, scala object will have a main method so it's a entry point for this program so i first we need to create a, a spark session once you create a spark session basically i don't want to uh, info or log so i just want to uh, restrict info log so i am just putting a log level as error so only error error logs will show then next what i am doing is i i know the uh, where my input file is uh, exist or that test.txt is there in the rdd example path okay so that's uh, that's a path i set in the file path variable uh, um, then so this val keyword is for 
immutable okay immutability okay so then what i am doing is i am using a, a spark context from the spark session and i am using the uh, this uh, function called text file to read a file from the local file system or hdfs okay so if you read this it will return here and uh, rdd which uh, uh, number of lines in the text file so what we have is three lines we have in the text file so then i am just trying to print out and uh, to show uh, uh, how many lines in the rdd so okay so let me comment out these lines okay let me execute this and show you it is going to take couple of uh, seconds so it will show you first info logs before spark session is created after that uh, because of the we set log level as error so it will not show it is going to read the uh, text file and it will going to print the each line in the rdd okay so we have three lines as i showed in the input so those are what it is showing with this so okay this collect uh, is a action okay so it's already action we are Uh, using it here. Okay, just to want to see the output from this RDD. Okay, so that uh, I can show you, I can explain you better. Okay, so next case, let's see the execute the uh, map transformation code. Okay, so what we are doing is we just uh, splitting the uh, uh, line by space separator and counting the uh, the length of uh, uh, the array written array or collection which it it has. I can see list. Okay. so if you split a string with the space separator so you get the list okay so you just doing the count so what will happen is you get a three value from this so each uh, each line how many words are there so let me run this code this uh, for each is the uh, 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 scala function which you used to iterate the uh, list or collection object okay so if you see uh, the first line right it is broken into uh, words by space separator and it is counted the each word okay so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 There are eleven words in the first line, and eight words in the th uh, second line, and uh, three words in the third line. That's what uh, uh, this map transformation does. Okay, let me uh, comment out this. Okay, so let it be. So I'm going to uh, just uh, uh, uncomment this uh, collect of this uh, already, which is returning from filter function, filter transformation. Let's run this. Basically, we want to show only the lines which has for word. So, yeah, I'm actually using a IntelliJ IDE. So, it's basically uh, very uh, easy to uh, develop a uh, SPD Scala, uh, SPD based Scala project. Okay, the Spark project is Scala. So, I can execute and uh, just uh, do some and some. Or if you want. Uh, If you want to do it on uh, Spark shell, that also you can do. Or if you want to use web-based uh, IDE like Zeppelin, also you can do it. So whatever is convenient, you can work on it. Uh, so if you see here, so these are the first three inputs we got from the text file, and then we did a, a filter transformation just to filter out, uh, take only lines which has for word. So that has been written. So la at last we will see. Uh, the the usage of uh, flat transformation okay so flat map transformation so what it is going to do is it is going to convert uh, these two lines into words and it is going to make as a single collection okay let's run and show you
so basically if you look at here so what it returned is returned is so all the words okay it is combined so first these two words from these two lines are combined and it is written as a single uh, collection okay, this is what a flat map does it will flatten uh, all your uh, uh, elements from that uh, uh, each lines okay so you each line convert into words and uh, all the words will be flattened into one group okay. this is what's uh, a use of flat transformation so i hope you uh, you understood these three transformation so in the next video we'll see a uh, few more transformation uh, 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 with the examples okay please subscribe to my channel uh, uh, cloud tv okay to get uh, more uh, videos on spark and other technologies okay just i put all the ports uh, in my blog okay you can just follow this and you can just copy it okay, i put uh, both the source code the entire program and i put the svd file uh, build file as well as the input file so you can take this and uh, you can practice and uh, please uh, put your comment and feedback here you can you can post your question also so i am happy to uh, answer those questions okay thank you very much friends see you in the next video